Welcome! The purpose of these brief webinars are to provide targeted, in-depth information supporting knowledge and application of the Illinois Early Childhood Competencies. The focus of this webinar is to look at how the competencies can be used for stackable, leveled credentials within programs. This webcast is going to provide an overview of leveled competencies, how they contribute to credentials, how they can be smoothly embedded to make paths seamless for students, and include an exemplar of stacking by credential, competency, role, and possible related courses to help in the stackability. In terms of fundamentals that are essential to understand, one of the primary competency fundamentals is the idea of level two being foundational and then building from there. Levels three, four, and five build on level two. Institutions entitled at level three, therefore, are responsible for level two and three competencies. Subsequently, institutions entitled at level four are entitled for level two, three, and four competencies. Universities are entitled at level five. They're responsible for all the competencies, two, three, four, and five. One of the things that this opens up and makes a little bit easier in terms of pathways are opportunities for universities to credential down. One of the things that's important to consider is the application of leveling to articulation. This will be discussed in more depth, but one of the fundamental things to keep in mind is that when a community college is articulating competencies with a four-year institution, they're required to meet the level five competencies within the articulating competency area. So one of the first handouts that we will show you provides an overview of how the different competencies are designed and we'll specifically talk about the idea of articulation as it relates to that overall. So the example that you have here relates to human growth and development. And what this just shows you are the different levels that exist within the human growth and development content area. So you'll see at level one, there are three competencies that are identified. There are not level two or three competencies. Level four builds on those foundational competencies. And level five, there are two competencies for human growth and development that are included there. As noted earlier, community colleges will not only cover competencies from level one through level four, but if they are articulating with a four-year institution, they also need to include the level five competencies. To show you this in another visual, one of the things that you can see here is the idea of how these competencies relate to pathways overall. So one of the things that you've learned is that the competencies are tied to different levels of credentialing and that those credentials are associated with roles in the field. These are not official names, but they're names that bring up certain levels of employment that we're all very familiar with. And so what this just briefly shows you is that at level two, what we call the assistant teacher level, there are particular competencies that are included within it that are associated with the content areas. So here we have human growth and development, health, safety, and well-being, interactions, relationships, and environments family and community relationships, and professional and personal development. You'll see then that level three has specific competencies associated with that. Those are noted below. And then you'll also see what additional requires or requirements are noted at each level. It builds to level four, where students can attain their associate degree. And finally, level five, where students can attain their bachelor's degree. So each of these build on each other in terms of competencies required at different levels. 
The last handout that we're going to show you, and we'll go into this in more depth later, shows potential courses that can be aligned with those individual competencies. So again, when we think about those roles, when we're thinking of the HEAP core courses, there are certain courses that are suggested in terms of developing a seamless pathway. And again, this is something that we'll talk about in much more depth in a later webinar, but just introducing the idea that those leveled competencies contribute to the scaffolding of courses, which designs a very specific pathway for students to move through as they pursue their career goals. So thank you. We hope to you'll join us for later webinars.